What's going on everybody? Look what I got here. I got myself a, a growler. A growler. You probably wonder what the hell is a growler. These are the things that you can go to a bar or like a microbrew and you can fill these up for a price they have their own or you can just bring your own. This, is, this one is 64 ounces and I got it at Maynard's. You know where Maynard's are? Some people call it Menard's. I got it at Maynard's and uh, it says it, it keeps things cold for 48 hours and then hot for 12 hours. Well, we are going to try that out. It's double insulated stainless steel, double wall insulated stainless steel, condensation free. Anything that's insulated is going to be condensation free. Loop attaches, keeps lid attached, convenient carry handles. You can carry your beer. Just drink it right out of there. 64 ounces. That's a lot. Uh, BPA and lead free. No kidding. So, that, I like the carry handle. It's like a mini keg thing, eh? You know? Okay, that's pretty thick, heavy duty. Now, what I'm wondering about is if you put beer in here, like you take some cans of beer and fill this sucker up, and you put this lid on here, and you screw it down and you shake it up a little bit if you open it is it going to explode everywhere like you just opened up a can of not whoop ass but a a a, a, a just shaking up a can i don't know but what i'm going to do today homebrew by mana is i have this thermometer thing here i'm going to put some water in here with a, a you know just a couple cubes of ice and I'm going to take the temperature read. I'm just going to put water in there, and it's going to. I'm going to let the water run a little, little while, get cold, and I'm going to fill it up. Then I'm going to take the temperature of it, and then we're going to come back in 48 hours and see what temperature it is. The temperature difference. Now, should I put ice in it? I don't know if I should put ice in there to make it cooler and see how much it warms up. You know what? I'll put some ice in here. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put some ice in here, and then, then I'll put some water in there, and then I'll, I'll try that for, for that long. That's two days. That's a long dang time. So let me, get, let me get everything set and put ice and water in it, and then we'll take a temperature, and I'll show you. All right, I got ice in here. I, I filled up my, it was an old, look at that. Giaga Lake Cup. When was the last time you seen that place? Um, I got I got filled it up with water. So let's take a reading. That says let me, let me mix it up. All right, 45, 47 degrees. Right? Let me see it again. Okay, I'm getting 43, 43 degrees. Let's cap this sucker up and we will check it in 48 hours and we'll see what we got see if see if the ice melted or whatever we'll do another reading on it so I'll, I'll see you in 48 hours all right folks it's been 24 hours let's crack this sucker off and see if we got ice we ain't got ice i guarantee that is it cold it's still cold what do we got 55 Right? That's not bad. 56? Yeah, I got 55. 55, 56, that's not bad. So now what I want to do is dump it out. And I'm going to put hot water in it. And it's supposed to keep it hot for what? 12 hours? 24 hours, right? I don't know where the heck my sticker's at. Here it is. I can't read. It's not telling me. It's around here somewhere. That's on right on here. All right, 12 hours hot. Gosh, I'm blind and one I can't see out the other. All right, so I'm going to put some hot water in here, run the temperature, and see what we got, and then keep it here for 24 hours and come right back. I'll see you in 24 hours. All right, everybody. Here is part two or part three or part whatever of uh, I'm going to fill this up with hot water. And it's supposed to keep hot, warm, hot for 12 hours. Now we're going to see. Now I'm going to do something different. A lot of people, my mom used to do this with my dad's thermos when he took it to work for, for, with coffee. 
she would fill it up with, this is hot, my someone just did dishes, um, uh, fill it up with hot water, get everything hot, let it sit in there for a minute, drain it out, then put the coffee in it. Oh, cucumber head. Cool as a cucumber. Really smart. So we're going to see how long it's 12 hours is a long time. Now, now, with the 46, 48 hours, with the 48 hours cold, I can't even remember what the heck the cold was when we first shot in there. Was it 49? And then it went up to 55. So that's not bad. That's not bad. So I got to get my, ther my thermometer. All right, that's good. That probably made everything nice and hot. Now... Let's refill it, and then we'll take a, a temperature reading, and we shall see what happens. I think it'll, I, it's good, naturally going to go down, but by how many degrees? I have to guess, you know. Well, it depends on what the heck the temperature is now. Okay. Put it up here. Let's get a reading. All right, this says, well, wait, I got different readings on this damn thing. All right, 103? All right, let's get another reading on it. And that says 106. So we'll just, we'll just say 103. All right, we'll put the cap on here. And it's... A little bit it's about 723 in the, the afternoon we'll come back at 12 hours and we'll do another reading stay tuned all right here we are 24 hours later let's crack this sucker open and see what we got let me stick my finger in there and, and see if it's hot Ow! no that's warm that's definitely warm what is the temperature 95. Let's see if we get another reading somewhere else. 94, 95. It, 95. I would say it's not coffee warm. It's a little bit warmer than pea warm, if you know what I mean. Uh, how do I know what pea warm is? I pee on myself all the time. Yeah, I say, I say it, 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 you know, 24 hours, but who's going to keep something in here for 12, 12 hours? Yeah, that's why I said I meant 12 hours. So, but who's going to keep the stuff in here for 12 hours before they drink it? The same thing with cold. 48 hours, that's, that, that's a long time to keep something in there. I don't, I don't know, but it, it, I, I like it. I use it at work all the time. I mean, if you're going to take it to a bar and fill it up with, with beer, you're not going to sit there. And, you're probably going to take it home and drink your beer right away, but it is a nice thing. But one thing I wonder, if you drink beer, how do you get it from you know spraying all over the place would it i mean you go to open it up would it spray all over the place i don't know maybe there's something with this lid that'll prevent that i don't know but there you go i like it i, I can't remember what i paid for it i think it was thirty dollars um and i i usually i just drink I, I use it at work for water i put water in it with lemon with some lemon stuff in there and i drink it throughout the day two of these a day and that's what that's what I do. So it's a neat it's a neat container if you want it, you know, for beer or whatever you want to put it in. So there you go. It it does work. So that went went from uh, 103 down to 95. So that's five eight eight degrees. That's not bad. So there you go. Thanks for watching.